amazing human that you are. You're like the <laughs> undercover, like most beautiful soul in this community. And for like, and a lot of people don't know that, like how genuine you are. And I think that showed really to me. I was like, and I didn't know a lot of the other stuff. So I guess today we're here with Ryan to just talk a little bit more about the show and a little bit behind the scenes. What happened? So how did you feel it went? Oh, I thought I thought it was great. And you know, I've had, of course, so many. I mean. I've never had so many kind words said to me, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, trust me, I'm not all that great. Yes, you're, you're humble, <laughs> um, but you're amazing. But no, I mean, I was just uh, floored by how many people just reached out to me. People I don't even know, people from everywhere. I mean, the people that I don't know. I got phone calls from California, people, random people just calling me, just saying uh, they appreciated what I did and how I acted, which I didn't really think anything of that, you know. that's That wasn't really... I wasn't after any of that at all, but uh, no, I and I appreciate it too. So uh, yeah, I thought it went great. It I did really too. Did. And I know Ryan because I mean we we've we've known each other from the business world, but we also were celebrity waiters here in Pueblo, Colorado, yep. on several different occasions for United yep. Way. Yes. So again, a passion of both of ours is just giving back to this community and, and loving on this community. But those are a lot of things that people don't know about you already. But you no. just are such a passionate human, and you do a lot. And it was cool to highlight that. I mean, well, I, and, you know. And I think that's, you know, what I love about you too, Matt, because uh, you and I both know that, you know, we, we've, we've known each other for a while. And, uh, you know, when this whole thing started, to be honest with you, of course, and, and you know the camera crew came in, they're like, documenting about Pueblo. And that's the only thing you could think of, Absolutely. right? Because yep. that's, that's the only thing I'm like, I'm going to tell you right now, if there's anything we could do to make Pueblo look better and, you know, put a spark out here and just, you know, make, let, let's, let's change the way people look at us sometimes. Because Pueblo is, it's, our, it's my home, it's your home. This is, I love it. We chose to raise our children here. Like oh, and I don't is, want to go anywhere else. Choice. This is our this home. This is and, where we are. And I think that's where they got us both. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt when they said, we're going to document and tell, highlight how amazing Pueblo is. I'm like, roll up my sleeves. What do you need me for? I'm in. Yeah. What do we got to do? And you were the same way the whole thing. So. Well, I think that's really what started that whole thing. Because, you know, when they come in and you have all this stuff thrown at you. And, of course, you do feel a little bit more comfortable when there's a camera crew there. But they did a great job selling their story right. of the... What, what they're trying to do. They just found this guy that happened to me, he wants to get his family moved out and everything else, but uh, they sold that story well to where I felt more comfortable, especially when we're gonna be sitting here trying to you know, put a spark for Pueblo, you know, something really nice for Pueblo. Yeah, it was almost like they had like Pueblo 101, the whole team, because they knew yes. a lot about Pueblo. Like even when I started questioning them, they answered it all. And I'm like, okay, they are doing a documentary because they already yeah. know a lot about this community. So they did a good job. You're right. They did a great Discovery job. Discovery Channel. They had to go through and, some and I'm going to just tell you right now, I have nothing but respect that camera crew and oh, was yeah. just the best. Oh, yeah. They were the most respectful people. They were just fantastic. Yep. To this day, I still talk to a lot of them. And we yeah, became awesome. personal friends. They're just good, good humans for sure. So walk us through that episode. Let's. Uh, <laughs> so you, you get this this random guy here, and you can tell your actions like you need a place to stay. Like yeah. <laughs> so so oh, walk yeah. us through that episode. That was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he walks through the door, and of course, you know, the camera crews and everything. I'm like, what in the world's going on here? And you you know, Grant. I mean, he is just it's it's 100 percent all the time. It's yeah. Grant Cardone, you know, <laughs> which of course this is Lewis Curtis to me. Yeah. So I'm you know I got to do all this, and I'm like. You know, you sit there after you even say yes, no, or anything, and you're like, what in the hell am I doing? Mm -hmm. But I felt comfortable with it. I actually did. I mean, I actually felt comfortable. He he seemed, um, he was genuine, you know, yeah. uh, and he was really, you know, again, talking about his family, you know, and you start thinking, and of course, this is a lot of stuff you guys, you know, it may have been edited out, but I mean, uh, he, he was seemed extremely passionate about getting his family out here, and he seemed like he had a... Something good to go on. Hundred bucks. Um, it was, you know, I got a hundred bucks to live on. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. But I felt I felt great about the whole situation, and it, I don't ever. I would never regret, even if it. You know, you always try to help somebody out if you can. If you can. Yeah. No. You know, it did help that there was a camera crew thinking. Okay, I I, I feel a little more comfortable with that, yeah. but. Um, but just overall, you're a good guy. Not only did you give him a place to sleep, but then I, I didn't realize any of that stuff myself. Like, I knew, I knew you told him, because you called me or you texted me, like, hey, this guy's coming down there. I'll, I'll buy his gym business or buy you a suit membership. Yeah. You were just so pleasant. But then you, you gave him a $100 tab. I didn't know this side of the story. Yeah. Either. Well, so, you know, because, you know, the, the last words before he left, and it, the, I mean, I'm not even sure it was on the show, is I got to go figure out what I, I could do with 100 bucks and eat and everything. I said, so he I, I walked one way, and then I, like, 
let me get on the phone and make a phone call. So I got off the phone and, and I called down to Katz and I said, I got this, this guy down here, you know, uh, he's got, I, I'm going to give him a hundred dollar tab. Just give him a hundred dollar tab. I'll pay it tomorrow when I come in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it, if he doesn't use it, just let him use it until it's gone. And, uh, and of course, you know, Tim and Cole down there, they're amazing people. Candy, um, I called Candy and she's like, whatever you want, Ryan, don't worry about anything. And I said, okay. So, you know, at least he had a, a place. So I, that's when I went back out and I'm like, Hey, run down there, go talk to my friends down at Katz and you want to, you want to talk to them. They're, they're amazing people. And I said, you got a hundred dollar tab down there. So that, yeah, no, that's, I mean, that awesome. you try to help, right? That was a huge I know job. you try to help all no, the time. So I, I, I try, I mean, but you can see the difference in the first episode of the three different billionaires and like, yeah. you made it easy. You gave him shelter, which everybody was there looking I for know. churches, looking for anything. And then you gave him food. Like you literally yeah, started he was way ahead of the game, like, wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> he started off like, all right, I got some food. And well, I started, stuff. yeah. So, yeah, you were definitely a huge part of that. And he, he started out with, oh, I'm going to be here for, you know, a couple of days maybe. And I'm like, I can do that couple of days thing. A well, couple of days started dragging. <laughs> but, you know, he, he, it was, it didn't bother me at all. Yeah. He was actually really helpful around here. He, he tried to be. He'd yeah. grab a broom, start yeah. brooming stuff. And, nice. You no, know, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, he was, I, I, yeah, I've got some, so much love for Grant now that I, I've gotten to know him a lot more. Uh, but there was definitely some intensity. I think all of us, you, him, <laughs> me, him, like all of us together, there oh, was yeah. intensity around here. But overall, like just such a, an experience that you just can't predict this kind of stuff. It was, it was no, awesome. No, it, sure. was, it, was, uh, it was definitely special. Of course, still not knowing what was going on. Of course, I, I was the dumbest one of all of us for so long. Um, I really had no clue till the day he came in and said, hey, I'm Grant Cardone. Actually... It was probably after you found out, and um, right then, and of course, that's when everybody kind of found out who he was. Yeah. You know, him walking into my office later and saying, "Hey, you know, I'm Grant Carter." I'm like, "Well, I knew something." I said, "Something was going something on." Was going something on there, but, yeah. but you know, it was it was cool to be uh, yeah. be around all this. It was it was it was definitely different, and uh, right. stuff like this doesn't happen here. You know that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. How how they got pop brought here was just a cool story on its own from Discovery Channel, but it was kind of a dart at a a map. Yeah. And we, we were lucky <laughs> enough that he showed up and, you know, I would have never thought myself when I watched that. I'm like, he just Googled RVs. All right, I'm going to go there. I like, had no clue about that either. I wouldn't think of that, but it was it was cool. I mean, that's just his, his brain was like, I need shelter. Well, I'm he's a hustler. You know, that's, he's that's, yeah. he's going to, well, just like he said, he's like, there's no way in hell I'm going to sleep in this damn, mm -hmm. this damn car. Yeah. And he was hell bent on making that work. Because, I mean, he was persistent yeah. here. Yeah. Dude, do anything. Can I do anything? Can you just help me just for a couple of days, just a day maybe, you know, just let me let me have a play. Not tonight. I just, I don't want to sleep in this car. Okay, yeah. yeah. I get you. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. And then and then you obviously sent him my direction. That's where yep. that episode went to a little bit. You were like, hey, go talk to him. I think you texted me and then you called me. You're like, hey, yeah, this guy's coming down there. Some cameras might be around there. And then the, obviously my reaction, I walked in. I, I think of a camera. I think of like, hey, hey, hey well, there's going to be a camera. Yeah. <laughs> and I walked cool. in and I was like, you saw me. I was like, what the? Well, I there's, told you, man. There's, like, there's, this, this is the whole insane. camera crew and everything. Is, I didn't think you understand the, the yeah. magnitude of their cameras. Yeah. I mean, it was intense. and then I'm thinking, this is a heck of a, uh, a documentary crew because I'm yeah. like, and my daughter, of course, she's she's going to school for uh, film production at the time. And I go, I took pictures of some of these cameras. And she goes, that's some really, really nice stuff, Dad. <laughs> and then I'm like, this, uh, this is what it is. They're doing a documentary. Yeah. That's all I knew. Yeah. But yeah, actually, um, when I called you, I, I, I warned you. I'm like, eh, they got some cameras and yeah. I, I think it's somebody you need to meet. And uh I, I think that's when you yeah. got caught off guard, I think, is yeah. um, you're like, wow, yeah. and there's think, not just a like camera. Two couple of passionate guys, you're like, hey, there's a guy I need, just let's, let's see if we can help yeah. out together. It's kind Absolutely. of how that conversation went to me. And I thought, yeah, cool, let's just help the guy out. Like, let's see what we can do together. It's yep. really, you know, and that, that was the beginning of all of this is two Pueblo passionate people. And then it turned into this explosion that, you know, I, I put on your wall the other night during this episode, Forever Grateful. And, and I, you are already one of my favorite humans. But then I, I don't think I even saw, I didn't know that side of the story as much yeah. because I was like, here. But when you were just like, go see Matt Smith. Like, that's a, that's a guy. Like, that meant the world to me. Go see Matt Smith and have a slobber. <laughs> go have a slobber, yeah. <laughs> I'm forever grateful for the rest of my life. I mean, we wouldn't have this opportunity. Wake up wouldn't be here. So many different people wouldn't have been around. Well, and I, I appreciate that. that but, so I, you know, I'm forever grateful. Matt, I, I, you also got to remember, I've, I've been around you for so long. I've, I've watched you um, give. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I think of, you know, an entrepreneur, first of all. Um, a friend, 
bigger than that, and a big-hearted friend. I've been around you enough to know. I mean, I know for a fact. I've heard stories that you've, uh, you know, given mattresses away and stuff like that to people that need in need. Um, and that's I, you worked with me on um, raising money, and we raised a lot of money we together. We, <laughs> we did. Some money, Matter of fact. <laughs> We raised so much money that they made us be competition with each exactly. other because they didn't want we us on the same exactly. team. It was a good thing. No. So records. that's, in my mind, I'm like, you know, he needs some names. There's, there's only, and I gave him names, but I kept pushing for Matt Smith because that was <clears throat> your attitude and everything else, in the, the passion you have for Pueblo. Yeah. So, and of course, I have the same passion for Pueblo. Amen. Amen. I'm honored. Um, and I'll be honored for the rest of my life and again, forever grateful for sure. Well, I appreciate this opportunity too, just to, you know, and of course, yeah, we tell our side of the story a little bit here too, because there is some stuff that I'm like, huh. well, that was some good editing. Yeah, well, and I think there'll be a lot more of that too. Well, one thing my wife goes, did you seriously tell him that the Jeep was bad in the snow? And I go, that has nothing what I said. <laughs> really? I said, we bought the Jeep because the Porsche is bad in the snow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So there that's will like, be that. So that's, oh yeah. that is definitely... All right now, I got Daimler Chrysler and Jeep after. trying to call me going, dude, we're, we're, we're fine in the snow. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> like, yeah, stay tuned for the after on these wake-up things because that's the plan is if there's any of these little weird things that we want to be able to tell this story to Pueblo and to the community, follow this after every episode for yeah. sure. Because that's the goal. It's like, yeah, there's some things that... I, I, I'm very optimistic that it will be a very positive show like overall there won't be much that we've got to be like oh, yeah that might have like little things like that now what's the big deal? oh that's no that doesn't bother me at all but, you know. <clears throat> the the thing is you know it's uh it was such a, a great great thing you know and i just i'm overwhelmed with uh, the the amount of uh, people that were yeah you, know, you and i both how, how nervous were you come on oh yeah Oh, I was well, you know I was. Oh yeah, I already made that phone call. Oh yeah, I was. I was. I mean, it, it took me weeks, if not months, to be just finally like, okay, just go, just flow with it, Matt. Like you're. We can't change. We can't even stuff. change this at it. this point. Yeah. We're in, you know. So I mean, I, I sat scared. there. I'm like, oh man, yeah. I can't even imagine. Oh, I'm still terrified. Like yeah, every episode, I think that we're still like, oh, okay, let's see how they portray. Well, it. yeah, there's, there's like, a lot more episodes see, coming up. There's, there's 13 more where that came from. So. Uh, one other thing I want to touch on about that episode for sure is 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 one of your best friends, Ryan. Yeah. So I, I think it, it, they, you sent him over there as another very public, yes. passionate person. If anybody doesn't know Ryan, he is definitely one of the best Wizard of Oz's because a lot of people don't know him because he's always behind the scenes making yes. magic happen. I've been to a few of his meetings and the passion this guy has for this community, the love that he has. I mean, what he's doing to that building is just unreal. And like, that is a huge project. 100%. That's, mm. that's a couple generations of a project to me. <laughs> I'm like, how are you going to finish this in your life? Like, yeah. Every time I walk in there. But but truly, the show kind of showed a conversation behind the scenes because <laughs> Ryan didn't want to be on the camera. It had nothing to do with anything else that he didn't like the camera, but... Well, I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't know Ryan, Mc, uh, Ryan McWilliams, um, that is, first of all, one of the most genuine nice humans that you'll ever meet in your entire life he and, and when you know there's there's people i think of you know, about pueblo you know that are really have pueblo in their interest at heart ryan mcwilliams is up on the top of the, the podium and he you know a guy he was in my wedding i've known him my whole entire life i i cannot say enough good things about him he's because he just continually just proves himself more and more and more being off the camera, there's a lot of people that don't want to be on camera. Right. Trust me. I'm not sure if I wanted to be, but here I am. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, Ryan McWilliams is just, he's one of the most upstanding stand-up guys you will ever meet in your entire life. Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would fight for him. 100%. The guy's amazing. Yeah. And he's, he's got so many cool things coming, too, for him. Mm -hmm. So that's somebody else you want to, you're going to definitely want to watch and, and stick with because 100%. you know Ryan is just going to blow it up soon this thing's going to just explode for him too like it is for you uh, and you uh, you know I'm, I, I appreciate that but I think that we, we do we already meet with Ryan a lot we use this, this beautiful building for a lot of videos ourselves and I oh, think yeah. Grant on his OTFs is what we would call them on the fly videos after yeah half of Grants are inside of the water towers I mean you see that beautiful building inside yeah. of there so he, he, Ryan was doing a lot behind the scenes to make sure this all I'm worked. I'm sure of it. And, and just, you know, I, I can't brag enough either. But I think in that first episode, you you might have an insight of like, oh, he didn't want to invest or he didn't want to do that. But right. Ryan's a very, he's a smart, he's analytical. He, he, <laughs> he makes moves intelligently and because of it. We're, we're, I'll, I'll never forget the first meeting I went to. He had everybody in this building, the who's who, and he was just there to say, 
how do we elevate this town before somebody else starts to bring their money into this community? Right. And he's just he's he's five steps ahead of every game out there. And he's very you know, and Ryan has a lot to lose too. So I'm sure that being a little more off, you know, kind of, ah, mm -hmm. uh, I got to be a little ca careful here. I mean, it's not just. You know, it, it, you don't want to crush everything he's worked for, yeah. and he's done a lot. Yeah. He's done a lot, yeah. and he's going to do more. 100%. He's got a lot of the, in the yeah. work, so stay tuned for all that. But, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make sure that the world knows that <laughs> you didn't see him because he didn't want to yeah. be seen. That was yeah. his choice that he wasn't on that camera. That's but if true. he did, the guy is just unbelievable, and he's just Absolutely. A great, great friend, great person yeah. in general. Yeah, I mean, my overall intake's the same as yours. It's like, been it was fantastic. a positive thing. It was a fantastic thing. I am so excited. I'm on the edge of my seat for every episode going forward to see how well, we all have how to be. and next and what's what's coming in next. <laughs> but I know you didn't do this for publicity, but I do no. want to just say Zabufik Motors, the best in all of Colorado, if not the entire country. If you're looking, go to Zabufik. Go to his Instagram. Go to his Facebook. Go to his YouTube. Go to check him out. They have just amazing things here and you know what an amazing family you're dealing with just by that you know somebody's going to stand behind their product and everything that they do so follow these guys uh we're going to do a few other shots on just just how amazing your place is but thank well, you for being that, on man. this thanks for you know we'll continue to have you on this the goal is to get you on as many yeah, things that you know and, I, and i'd love to be around with you guys um you know I, first of all again thank you too matt for giving me the opportunity to sit down with you no. because you know you we were both nervous and you know this this actually it, this all the way things happened and the way everything just it it could this is the way it was supposed to be you know that right Absolutely. that's what i i love about that so i'm pretty excited about it i am excited and i appreciate you taking the time today and i'm excited for all the future stuff and me we're too just, we're we're blessed to have you in this Pueblo community you're a badass well and and I, we've been watching what you're doing and we're just going to keep following you and, and pushing you too so pretty pretty proud of it man thanks my man thank, thank, thank you. thanks matt stay tuned